what is up chug fishes so today we are going to be going over what is in my tackle box i've been struggling to catch fish lately it's gotten pretty cold and i don't know i'm always out fishing can't catch fish and i don't want to upload videos where i don't catch fish so i try to find some other things to do so we're doing this for this week's video looking at my tackle box. So we're going to start off right in the front thing. I got my net, just a little net to scoop the fish up out of the water. And it's it's coming handy, not lately because I can't catch fish. Uh, then my zip open, first thing, I have my GoPro gear. Um, here's a GoPro mount. Normally the GoPro's in there, but the GoPro is charging right now, and it's charging, I don't know what else to say. Over here, I've got my pliers, they come in handy a lot, and in this zipper, I have a school of 14 pound monofilament. Bass Pro Shops turny tough and it all just got everywhere. I don't know how or why. I did not leave it like that. Where'd the piece of tape go? I don't know. Um, yeah, and then I have my Rapala scale right here. Goes up to 25 pound fish. Biggest fish I've had to put on there was a 12 pound, 10 ounce catfish. So, pretty big fish put on that scale. I thought it was gonna break the scale because, I don't know. Because sometimes it don't work right. But I'm just trying to get this real fix. I think I got it. Piece of tape came off. All right, we're good now. Inside of this tackle box, we have three cases of tackle box. We have three tackle boxes. Come on, speak English. It's late at night. But over here on the left side, I have some baits that are too big for the tackle boxes. There's not slots big enough. I have uh, this. I have two buzz baits. They're kind of they're stuck. This Guggen Squad Hummer buzz bait. Catch lots of fish on that, especially late summer, early fall. And then this, I think it's like a Booyah one. Booyah. Buzz bait, I actually found that. But it's fine. This Guggen Squad Zinger spinner bait. It's real nice. I like to throw that in like dirty water because I feel like it really stands out. And I got a bobber. I don't know why I didn't have that. I think I found it at some point. Now heading on to the actual tackle box. Right here on the top I have a pack of four inch locker logs. There's none in there. I don't know why. Like I might use the last one up recently. But then I have some Strike King Rage Swimmers, 3.25 inches. There's three of them left. Like the tackle box it looks like this inside of it. Then go on to this flap up here. First off, there is just an extra paddle tail swim bait. Then some big bite baits, uh, creature bait. I'm not sure which ones these are, but. I like to use these as trailers a lot. They're like crawdads with whiskers. They're kind of big. They're good. I got them out of a mystery tackle box. So Next, we have some flukes. Some zoom flukes right there. They're good. And the uh, last thing up here are some Excite baits, some crawdad things. These 
I really like his trailers. These crawls absolutely just flap and annoy bass a lot. I like to throw these on the back of like my spinner baits and my buzz baits and my jigs and my chatter baits, all those. Which currently I don't have any jigs or chatter baits. I keep throwing them in the trees. Makes me sad. We're just gonna empty all my tackle box. Next, in this first tackle box, this is like my hard baits box right here. The first lure in it is actually is a rattling jig. Um, the hook bent like the first time I threw it. I got bit and it bent, and I don't really I don't use it anymore. I don't, there's not really a reason for it to be in there, but it is. And next, we have this little Straight King Bitsy Minnow. It's really small. But I catch many different species on this. I've caught uh, bluegill bass. Even I've caught crappie on this. And then we have this uh, swim bait right here. Looks kind of like a crappie. But it swims really nice in the water. I think it's Bass Pro Shops brand. But it's it works good. And next we have this Dugan Squad Scout Junior. I'm not sure what color this is, but it looks exactly like a bait fish. And then I have this rattle trap right here. And it looks like a bleeding dying fish. So big bass just come up and eat it. And I got this Loco 10 crankbait right here bounces off the bottom of the water and cut big bass on that this thing really works it's probably it's one of the bigger baits that i have and then i have this rapala husky jerk right here it's never go wrong when you're throwing that it's gonna catch fish and next this is my hooks and weights and other stuff like that. <sighs> Couldn't open it. All right, everything's messed up in here. I don't know why, but I'll just show you what's in here. I got some Texas rig hooks right, right there. Got some circle hooks. Nail weights. Can't pick this up, it's kind of small. Got I'll show you too because I can't get them on stuff. Little red uh like drop shot hooks. Some half ounce weights, like drop shot weights, and I, I like to use those when I catfish a lot. Got some one out, one eighth ounce bullet weights, some extra treble hooks, and some shaky head hooks. And then my top water box. I really like them top water. And I'm sad I don't get to throw much frogs in the in the winter and fall. But we're gonna start it off with a Guggen Squad blooper. It's a popper. And his nice treble hooks. This one bent a little bit, but it, it still works great. I think this is bone color. And yeah, it has this, like, rooster tail thing at the back. I'm not, I'm not too sure. I don't know. But, and we have this Guggen Squad Eat Me Filthy Frog. I have two of these. Uh, this one, I, I don't fully remember what this color was called, but it really works. The skirt can be shortened up a little bit, though. I was holding that way too high. But, yeah. And the other one is all white, and it says Eat Me in Green. That's on my rod, my topwater rod right now. 
then I have this poppin' frog. Oh, I'm not sure what brand this were, but they were on sale at Dick's. This one I got recently. And it works really well. And then here I have a Booyah Pad Crasher. This one, uh, I've caught like threes on this. Well, um, yeah, it was like two and a half or three. It was my old PB and until I broke it in the spring and summer. And then the bait I'm most excited about throwing in the spring. This is a scum frog. And what's so special about this? It has an inserted tungsten weight in the back and you can launch this thing like half a mile. It, it's it's great. So that's all that's in my tackle box. Um, thanks for watching this video. And I know this is probably a more boring video, and I don't blame you for clicking off, but I can't catch a fish. <sighs> but don't forget to use code Chuck at keeperofishing.com, and I will see you in the next video.